This is the BCOA. Oh, God. Holy Toledo. <laughs> in today so I don't know who out of the four of you is going to do the seat. It's about a two hour process, sometimes two hours, two hours. yeah. Like um, a real, real racing driver. Real racing driver. <laughs> okay, real race car driver. Oh my god that looks insane just under the I know, I know. Yeah. So everybody welcome to Thermal for the BCO8 event and um, thank you very much for, for coming. Um, I'm Neil Underwood, I'm the Global Sales Manager for McLaren Special Operations and we're really proud uh, about this car. Let me tell you a little bit about um, the history of this. So this car actually was the first McLaren that was ever penned by our design director, Rob Melville. So before any other McLaren was, was designed, this car was first. In then, in 2017, Sony came to us and asked us, do you have a, a car a design for the, the Gran Turismo, the, the yeah. Sony PlayStation game? In the game, um, it's slightly different because you sit into, into the car like a motorbike. Um, we don't want to use our customers' heads as crash zones, so we changed it to a conventional <laughs> position. Um, but this, this car has actually been dri driven in a game by millions of people. So millions of people have actually driven this car um, from around the world. But there will only be 25 lucky individuals that will actually be able to drive this car in reality. And uh, we believe we're the first manufacturer to take a game car and put it into production. So the idea of BCO8 was to combine everything that we've done as a brand over the last 60 years, both as a racing team and as an automotive brand. So it's really important that we get the sort of symbiosis between the racing heritage and the road car heritage. And BCO8, we think, does that, it captures it in a number of ways, which I'll show. Um, but what I'd like to do now is to introduce the car to you. Oh, wow. This is the BC08 McLaren. <laughs> aspirated V10 engine. You could high RPM? 10,500 RPM. <laughs> That's pretty high. <laughs> yeah. Around about 830 horsepower. <laughs> the diffuser actually goes into a Venturi into the, to the front of the car. So right from the, the front nose cone all the way back into the diffuser. The aero goes not just underneath the car and over the car, but also through the car. If you look through the pods, so you can see the sculpting through the, through the bodywork and this amazing um, openness that you'll see in a basically in a Formula One car. Like mind blowing, it really it is. is. It is every time I see this car, I just think this is just absolutely you know the statement that we wanted to make for McLaren as a brand sure. and I think it's uh, it's just incredible. Exactly. So the whole canopy will move forward on rails and so you can just get in by the top and then it comes close to get We have a lot of cool cars right now. A lot. Another level. That's nuts. It's like a real cut right there. Yeah. 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 And how you can see the springs up front. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 That's cool. You've got a little slap in here though. Look at that. Yeah. 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 This is final design. Um, the only difference is, is that the, 
the engine isn't in here and the canopy isn't uh, operational. So what happens to be made is you've got a handle on the side here, you flip the handle, yeah. the, 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 the thing pops up okay. and then it slides forward like a fighter jet. Cool. But you know what I was saying to you about how easy this car is to get into? Yes. You'll see there's a step on the side. Yeah, right there. So you, step yep. on, you step on that into the seat. And you're in, and then you put the steering wheel on. That's the cool thing that I was saying. I'll be ready to catch you. Yeah. That's it. And then if you put your hands perfect there and sort of lower yourself down, try and do both legs. Awesome. The steering wheel on this car is actually modelled on our last year's Formula One wheel. So we went to our colleagues in racing and we asked them for um, the, the layout and also the parts. So these rotary buttons and these thumb wheels are actually from the Formula One car. So it's, it, this, is, this is as good as it gets. You can turn it like a, a normal wheel. The wheels won't turn. But gives you an idea. So the, the, pedal, the pedals slide. So when we do your seat fitting, we'll get them in the correct position. It probably sounds like a 2000 generation Formula One car. Oh my God. Ah, which is like the best. Sound will be, the sound will be amazing, and, but it, it's actually, it's actually we built it to be a, um, a drivable car as well. So it's still got your traction control system, your stability control. It's got an automatic release, so you don't even have to use the, you know, there's no clutch on it. So it's very, it's actually very easy to sort of drive. And on, obviously this will light up, so I have your gear, all the settings you're in, speed, everything like that. So you've got a foot here. Oh God, that, that just seems really wrong. Just right? stepping on the body panel, yeah. Just step yeah. on the car. That's if it breaks, I'll pay for it. That's how confident I'm. We've got that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> There's an asterisk somewhere. Yeah. And then slide yeah. both legs down yeah. straight. Yeah. That's awesome. Can I have some arm strength? Uh, uh, reduced uh, brake. So the pedal box will slide, so at the moment it's actually a little bit closer okay. uh, than you would have it. Yep. And when we make the seat later, we'll move all of that to get you comfortable. And that will get you Yeah, lower. See, see, this is nice, like to have these bolters a little bit. So when we make the seat later, we'll get you sitting probably two and a half inches lower. Yeah. Uh, and no, that will make you more comfortable. So, yeah, as Neil mentioned, this is our historic theme. Um, and the reason we chose this as a show car is because it celebrates the 60th anniversary. So this links back really nicely to Bruce McLaren's first ever Formula One car. So you can see we've taken the inspiration from that and used the stripe up the middle in XP green and silica white to emulate his first vehicle. And then to bring that into the year when you were first told about the car, we've used this pattern on the side, which was taken from our 2020 uh, Formula One livery. Um, so we felt like that brings everything together really nicely to celebrate the, the history and the 60 years uh, of McLaren. This is a replica of our Formula One driver Lando Norris's helmet. Oh my. And it's signed by Lando. Oh my. Oh, that's <laughs> cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. I love Lando. Got a shrink wrap on that thing. That's just a, yeah, that's just to protect the signature. Yeah, the protection. And it's got, a, it's got a bag and everything that it comes with. Maybe to start off with, uh, we'll show you through the, through the themes yeah. here as well. So this is uh, Vision One. So you might remember from, from Sabre, you know, we had the sort of yeah. breakup of different panels and designs. Exactly. So this is where, where our fuselage, our central section of the car, is in uh, full visual carbon fibre. And then the four pods, the, uh, uh, the, the four uh, sections just above the wheels, are in a, a body colour, uh, or a pavement colour. And then you're using an accent colour, uh, actually in this case two accent colours. One which is the orange here on the front, and then across the sides of the um, pods and on the rear wing and then you've also got a uh, blue accent just running through the top section as well. Theme two is using a slightly different panel breakup where you've got effectively full visual carbon fibre so we think of it more of a sort of stealthy look, um, a little bit more of a Batmobile perhaps. Um, so you've got full visual carbon fibre and then these uh, accent, uh, accents in red. Again same kind of areas but we're, we're not splitting the fuselage and the uh, and the pods there, so they're, you they're want to make it look like one. Exactly, yeah. So same as the the, the heritage different we've got there, where the pods yeah. and the fuselage are all one. And then finally, we've got uh, Vision Three, which is sort of the, the next stage, where you've got a central uh, fuselage in a colour, and then, and then the pods are the, uh, on the uh, above the wheels in the visual carbon fibre as well. So this is where you can really give a you know, real bright, vibrant, punchy colour, maybe on the inter on, on the centre. And then with the, uh, in this case, we've done matching pinstripes 
So you've got a, a silver central section and obviously silver pinstripes and then a couple of really subtle red accents as well. So this is a little bit almost like a kind of um, Vodafone Lewis Hamilton 2008 kind of look to it. Mm. Um, and then yeah, you've got things like the red accents on the top and interior we can come to as well. What is that thing sticking out? This here? Yeah. Um, what that? Yeah, that's the antenna, the radio antenna. Oh. Yeah. So those are the three kind of main panel breakups, sort of preset liveries mostly focused on the heritage and the history of McLaren over the last 60 years. F1, yeah, so the F1 livery, which we've got lots of uh, details and things over there about. So this is where we're kind of using a few different aspects of the, of the first three visual, uh, vision themes, and then adding things like this whole front section in blue, wow. uh, and then the side in blue as well, with the rainbow effect, like the 2000, sorry, 2021 MCL35M. So you said other customers have spec. That yeah, so I mean, we're on right? we're on spec session about six or seven at the moment. We've done a few last week. Can you, can you do the gills like a tray take all around it? Yeah, so so behind it right now. Yeah, so I mean, all of those different things we'll be able to tweak and amend. So if you wanted to get rid of those completely and have this as a solid blue section, we could do that. Yeah, um, or you could even have those. I like the accents, the, the gills. Yeah. What oh, the gills down here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. that'd be cool. Yeah, I mean, it's a shark. Yeah. So looking back to the perhaps the eighties and early nineties, yeah. um, and Ayrton Senna's time uh, at its peak, perhaps MP44. Uh, this is very much a, a Marlboro uh, livery. Um, yeah, that MP44 spec. So you've got the chevron shape on the front and the rear. This time we're using vermilion red and silica white, so they're slightly different colours to the original F1. Color. I think I have a vision. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know the saber and yeah. right here, right? Uh, the in, uh, internal part uh, yeah, of the car we're not yeah. is black. Yeah. This part. This part with black one. Uh, yes, yeah, that's black. And then that's what so it is. Yeah. And then there's blue highlights. Yeah, that, I like that. Yeah. I want to see that. Like, Let's do it. So this actually is a sort of exact replica, apart from the interior. Yeah, there you go. This is a real kind of Sabres brother or sister. Blue tinted yes. carbon fibre in the centre, exactly the same. Exactly. Wheel design is the same as oh, being wow. in a couple of months' time. And, and that half part of there should be black. You, you don't like this, BDD? No. Pitch your focus off oh. the car yourself. I mean, just looking at that all. Yeah, that's because it's quite a unique feature. It's a, well, it's the prettiest thing I've ever seen outside of my wife. <laughs> and yeah, so this is exactly as you're saying, oh, it's color the colours the same. I like that striping. Did that look better? Well, that's just too dark for me. I don't, I don't it know. Needs more accents. Accents. It, it needs to be like just f***ing wild. That mm -hmm. design with the central stripe. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Oh, wild. Oh, oh, nice. Look at that. Yeah, so we've got the uh, Ohio flag there. You did my name on there too, huh? Absolutely. That's your name? And then you could possibly even replace the, the, uh, the blue pinstriping with orange. So you'd have yeah. a dark blue center yeah. and then orange accents might yes. be quite a nice option. As well. So that would be a sort of one step alive. of orange. Yeah. So you could just do the pinstripes. Maybe, you know, uh, that's too understated though. How about the whole panel? How about the whole thing? Yeah. What's the literal opposite of what you guys want? Well, yeah, we want radical. <laughs> How about that? But what about that? But let's try inverted. inverted yeah. You want to try to flip it so the main part's blue? How do you like this? Yeah. I, I like that a lot. I would like to see the inverse too, though. Yeah, I do like that a lot. Obviously, at the moment, we're seeing just a little bit of the orange coming through here, but that would all be blue. It's a little bit like the center as well. Okay. Yeah, just a brighter just blue. Do you like the black or not? I, I, I like this, yes. Like no, I, I like this a lot. So, do you want to, can you show us the colors of the orange? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, that's Papaya Spark, uh, which is the, the orange that we're looking at. That is a radium blue, so that's quite nice. It's a really 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 Yeah, that actually is really light light the car a little bit. Mm -hmm. What are you guys thinking? We're just looking at the car to get a better angle. I, I do like the stripe, though. So are you thinking blue with an orange stripe? I don't know. I think we could look at that. Look at them first. Because look, whatever we do with the stripe, we do this side part in. Right. So that's where... Yeah, so that's where she's going to start with this livery, and then we just replace our colors. I do like the stripe. Too. I just, how do you feel about the pods being the same color as the pod? I, I have a general problem. Oh, the pod, no, I don't want it. It's not like... I, yeah, I, I, I think right? the pods need to be a different color, right? The four corners? Oh, for sure. Like, I think that really sets it off. So a lot of respect in this car, uh, I can't pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're here, <laughs> we're the problem. Hey guys, we're gonna pick a winner out today for the Hilton Head vlog. Uh, the code word was bullseye. 
So we're gonna, I'm gonna look right now to see who first DM'd me on Instagram the word bullseye. You know, we appreciate you participating. We're gonna have a lot more giveaways in the coming videos, so make sure you watch, make sure you pay attention and you subscribe. All right, we found the winner here. This guy messaged us at 1.08 with the video coming out at one. So we have tech here with video content. So we're gonna reach out, send you a DM, and we'll give you all the details, but you have won the AirPods and stick with us. We have a lot more coming up for giveaways and we're gonna be excited. There'll be some hidden things in these videos. We're gonna be giving away a lot more. So thank you guys, we appreciate it. Oh, yeah. That is cool. That does look pain, you know. You like that? Mm-hmm. And if you want to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, everybody. Mm -hmm. How about the wheels? Yeah, the wheels should be the orange too. So just, no. just, oh, so you're so right. just quickly. No, you're right. So just on the orange, we're just gonna have a look and see if we if we switch it with this orange, then matches the the yeah. Oh that looks sweet. Can we see that? I think that's what's up. And it becomes a little bit like yeah. a golf delivery without being Yes please. This is safe. Yes, please. The, I like that. The, 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 and then calipers, I think. What about the centerpiece? Can we can we try that? Oh, that looked look good. Oh, that looks sick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Hey, Rick. What was that, Jordan? That looks so Rick good. Rick Jonas. That's it, right there. Oh my God, it looks so good. It does. Do, do we want to just switch to the blue yeah. wheels again? Just yeah. maybe switch between. Why don't you yeah. just put yeah. orange on the outside of the mods? It'll, I think it'll break that. Yeah, exactly. You could add in yeah. some, uh, just a couple of extra pinstripes on the pods, just to break up that sort of pod and fuselage. Yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah. 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 That looks good. Yeah. Exceptional. Yes. Can we see the the wheels in black with the orange, with an orange caliber? Yeah, absolutely. What and we could do is replace the orange with this color, because then we can do the caliper to match. Alternatively, probably suggest keeping the caliper quite neutral. That was, I like that. Yeah, it looks horrible. No, it doesn't. It does. <laughs> I'm just saying it does. You only hate that. What well, color do you think it should be? I like black, but that's like a racing thing because it makes the whole car look okay. like, I think It's quite nice like with the orange because it brings yeah. a bit more vibrancy to the side of the car. It's too, it's too normal to, for me, and this is like a wild car. Like, How it's just too if normal. You, if you liked this carbon fiber section but wanted more orange on the side, this part here, these two sections here, are um, uh, out, out of that menu. And we have some amandite aluminium which closely matches the colour of the golf. So we could do those parts in order to warn you. It's going to be quite prominent. It's going to be very, I mean, you're going to love that. You're going to see that and you be like, I'm so happy. Well, I think he's got, he got the colour right. I mean, that looks yeah. amazing. That's oh, awesome. The name of the car will go underneath here as well. Yeah. Too much. yeah I think it'd be cool to have the underside be orange. So oh my god, we want three sets. We do that blue and orange. Yeah. And well, so all, we all win. It's called it's teamwork. Orange. Yes, right. Oh There's no I in team. Why can't we do the fender in orange? Because all the accents look great in the orange, I think. I think it'll be too much if you put orange you on do? the fenders. Oh, oh yeah, the solid color looks fantastic. Yeah. Solid orange, solid blue, and then hey, you're whatever. Riding, and then we have three sets. And it goes without saying as well. Three the sets, these wheels, yes. Yes. wheels, calipers, the whole thing. Oh my God, does that look amazing or what? <laughs> We're <laughs> done here. <laughs> that is done. That looks amazing. Oh my God, it looks so good. Okay, I'll pick the blue on my set. It should be delivered with the orange wheels. <laughs> no way. Hold day. One being no, there is great back, Dad. Oh, okay. <laughs> can, I, can I interject? Like I've been doing? What are you interjecting? Okay, okay, here, all right? Mm -hmm. You have your face logo and BDD here instead. No. You don't like that? <laughs> You're good for interior, right? I mean, don't you think we should do orange seat belts? Yeah, I think interior-wise, there's there's a, yeah, we'll show you what's, what's possible, I think. Okay. And then um, there's, obviously, there's only one seat, so um, you might think there's not a huge amount. So we can so we can each design so, our seat then? Absolutely, yes. yeah. Because we're, we're getting four seats, so we can each design our seat however we want. The other thing as well is the carbon fiber, um, uh -huh. both on the exterior and the interior. Exterior at the moment is gloss, so it will match the color of the, match the finish of the paint. And then interior. That's a matte. Yeah, and then it's interior we do a satin. Yeah, and mostly for the reflections. So yeah. suggest keeping it that way, especially on this car. Um, yeah. But if you really want to, we could do gloss in some areas, but honestly, I'd probably suggest just keeping it in black. And so with the interior as well, there's obviously um, some areas here that we've got uh, some bright work. 
So <coughs> these two central vents, and then round here as well. Um, so we can it's change okay. that. Yeah. How does it feel on the shoulders? This is okay, but there's not a lot of room here. Not a lot of room. How do you feel? This would have to be a lot longer. Shorter, I mean. Yeah, way shorter. Okay, how do you feel to the pedals? Pretty good. Okay. Dave, do you have any thoughts on this? What's this like? It's hard work. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And I'm an old man. And I gotta thank this guy for, for helping me get That's right. one of these. You deserve it. The statement that blew my mind, that might blow my mind more than actually seeing the car, was the gap between a 570S and a Senna GTR on track is a smaller gap than the Senna GTR to the BC08. Like, think about that for a second. That, that low, a 570S on the track to a Senna GTR, that gap is smaller than the Senna GTR to the BC08. Isn't that Wild, dude. My yeah. mind is blown about that. Yeah, and it's not like Senna GTR is a slow <laughs> car. Oh my god, of course not. I mean, that, that is the by far the fastest, best track car that we'll ever be able to own, I'm sure. And like, yeah. let, let, let's hire Lando to come out yeah. and, and race it for us. And we can like superimpose our heads on the <laughs> He'll be our own personal stage. <laughs> yeah, like we can car. edit. Yeah. There's an orange. Yep. Maybe that in orange as well, start stop button. I think so. Yeah. I think it looked really good. This is the blue, so we could do the blue. We could do orange and blue. That's fine, I like that. We'll show you on the end. Yeah. Sounds good. Biggest feet. You've got the you've got the biggest feet of the, oh. the ten I just want to tell you it's just average size. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you just want to clarify. Average. I just want to clarify that it's just average. Like you're taking a bath. Yeah, but like is this do I need to be down further? It doesn't, so the seat, I'm not too worried about the seats in position uh, okay. because we've sorted that with the seats. What I'm looking to check at the moment is where we where we have the steering column come through on the real car. We've got, got a we've got a dummy in there. Um, so we're trying to see if as you come in from You're going to clip break, it, yeah. Clip yeah. yeah. Um, so we are quite close and what we can do is we can take a spacer out and lower the pedal box slightly. Okay. Yeah, because because I because where I rest my left foot, there's an inch to an inch and a half where I'm just resting my left foot. Yeah. Where I could still rest it if that brake pedal was moving over to the left a little bit. Yeah, we can get that. So, yeah, but I'm, yeah, because I'm barely catching it. And these are Pelotis, like driving shoes, not like race boots, obviously. Yeah. But yeah, to have that a little bit but more to the left okay. would be awesome. Mm -hmm. It's comfy like this, I just don't need to see. Oh yeah, this is good. This, yeah, that's actually the... Just like the proper way to do it? Oh, it's a new technique. That. <laughs> only, that only who knows, Jay? Uh, well, Lando started using it this year. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be so cool. Look, he's shaping out your butt right now. What a process. I know, it's crazy. Jay, you look like you're staring down the racing line. Like you're fighting for first right now. You, you did that. That's an interesting process. I want to get one of these for home. Just make my own molds. <laughs> Just make your own molds. <laughs> I like that. Okay, try it. But it's such a cool project, you know. And it's it's it epitomizes everything that is McLaren. You know, it's everything for a reason. It's light. It's purposeful. And it's and it's the sort of the link between the F1 team and our automotive business. So do you think that this is like a step or a level above like the Wyra R oh, yeah. that, that they're coming out with, right? Yeah. I mean, from what I from what I can what I can see, we do our own thing. We don't sort of follow. Sure. Sort of, but you know, you've got to remember that McLaren is a 57 year old racing team. You know, we we have a pedigree of doing this sort of thing. So when it comes to aerodynamics and things. I don't think there's really anyone that's got the same sort of level of understanding. I mean, this car doesn't even have active because active, it doesn't need it. And that was something that the, you know, the aerodynamicist actually decided that, no, it doesn't need it. It's, it's actually good as it is. But then also as well, you know, cars like that are fundamentally based on the chassis and the, and the platform of a road car. Whereas yeah. this is this is, not this is no. fully functional. Yeah, this is, this, this, is, this is nothing. Yeah, it's not based off of there another chassis anything. or suspension or engine. It's no. totally bespoke for this project. This I don't project think only. we even boast enough that we introduced the world to a carbon fiber monocoque. No. Since McLaren introduced it in Formula One, every single Formula One car from every other team has copied that technology. Yeah. That's right. And that's exactly what's in this. All our road cars. Yeah. Still. You yep. think how many other manufacturers haven't seen it's the quickest way of doing it. Mm -hmm. Every F1 car, 
It's a carbon fibre chassis with an engine fixed to it behind. And still McLaren are the only ones that do it on every single road car and this. And again, I mean, the tub in this car is is the, the, the same as, as in our F1 cars. It's the same as in our McLaren F1. So it's a different process than we do when we build a 720, an Elva, a Senna. Um, it, it's actually a hand layout process. I mean, it's just incredible. incredible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I just think the other thing I think is mad is I can't believe we're only making 25. So for the BC cars, is, is, there's a separate facility away from so from the main factory, right? So obviously these the, the, these cars are sort of MSO projects. Um, so MSO have its own facility, which is still in Woking. Um, but it's down the road from the main MTC MPC plant. If you ever go to the um, UK, you need to see yeah. MSO as much as you need to see MTC, the main sure. factory. It's like Aladdin's cave around. Sure. Like anything that's not able to be ordered by Chad sure. goes through us. Sure. And that could be like yeah, headrest logo, or it could be. Yeah. But there's there's the regular factory where everything's being built. Yeah. And there's yeah. MSO. And then there's, MSO. And then there's something else, right? That's more. Where you're working on like this stuff, where only 15 so, people know about it. So we, so we will use, um, you know, we will use studios around the world um, for specialist projects. And we'll use resource from companies. So it's it's really about bringing the best of what we can find in the global markets, and and then channeling it into that car. It's it it's quite, amazing. Quite a challenge. Really. I mean, this is crazy to see mm. that something you're going to build something. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> It's crazy. I mean, it's like getting a brand new Formula One car. It's, that's it's like having somebody cost, yeah, custom make you a Formula One car with, <laughs> yeah. with like but the, creature comforts and but, but technology. A, but a Formula One car right. that you can drive. That's you know, yeah. that's the thing. Is because you know you get into a you know a, a, one of our ex drivers' cars. You know, there's no there's no traction control. There's no APS. There's there's nothing. There's also been no focus from the engineers or designers to make it drivable. No, they look at the numbers and go, what's faster, okay. A or B? Yeah. A. B, A, A, B, A, and then before you know it, the car can be quite undrivable, mm. but it can deliver a lap time. Mm. Whereas, like I was saying to you guys earlier, that's not going to be our focus with this. The lap time is one, but the drivability is at the same level. All of those levels have so many functions that you can just go, okay, I'm starting out, I'm going to go really intrusive, really safe, and look after me. And as you get better and quicker, you can turn, just turn, them, turn them all off. Yeah. And make it more and more extreme. Yeah. And yeah. I love it. So, yeah, so we'll work on. Um, getting a track car and going around to some circuits. Sounds, sounds getting good. Some, getting some track time in this throughout yeah. this year. You'll get a driver evaluation report from me, which is basically everything I've said about you to your face. It won't be uh, <laughs> two faced and stuff. <laughs> in the back I got an F. And, uh, and say X, Y, and Z. But no, it would just basically kind of say what I think will make your lives easier when you get BCO8 rather than deliver BCO8 to you and say, oh, by the way, you should have done this and that in the time we're waiting for the car to get you guys sure. gives you an opportunity to just build your knowledge and your, your skill set yeah. up so when you do get in the car for the first time you hit the ground running something fun to like work for too to yeah exactly and, 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 and you know and we'll, skill set. and also we'll run a we'll run a driver coaching program so with with joe's sort of evaluation we can now sort of tailor a program for all of the owners that want to really drive the car bring them into you know start them a sort of at the level that they're comfortable with and then just bring them up and then it'll make it easier when you transition into a car like this. I was surprised how addicting it is like getting out on the track. That was my first time ever being on a track oh, yeah. driven or driving. Oh so you're, you're, you're in big trouble fun. now. You're in big trouble now Jason because you just want well, to get wanna faster get, it gets even more fun. You just right. Get, right and I was still pretty uncomfortable but I, it was very addicting. It's like, yeah, you yeah. think when can I get out again? Yeah. It is. It's a great adrenaline rush even like at, at our level which is obviously an adrenaline rush for us right now. But also I felt very comfortable with the instruction and knowing, okay, brake here, accelerate. I mean, it, it would have been a disaster without a tire. It's eye opening. It's tiring. It, it, it's a whole level, a new level of respect for. I think we talked about a little bit, Joe. Just the pros that do this. It's tiring. When you think that you know, you and you get to build those levels up, and then you think the guys at the top are doing that. You know, they're hitting those braking points. They're taking that G through the corner, and they're racing another 19 guys. That's, I mean, that's it gives you a whole another level of respect for those oh, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I completely lost like my line or kind of what we to had do. That one GT4 yeah, car yeah. Like, I mean, that that GT4 car coming and even cars like behind me. Like, I caught somebody in my rearview mirror. It's like, you know, I mean, you have to get there yourself yeah, through yeah. your own work ethic. 
yep. that you know you, it's not just like going out and buying a car like okay I like that I'll I'll buy that car. No. The challenges you can't buy. Prices. I mean it's and we're just so competitive too that like just to like get out there and, yeah. and get to that point it's like I'm excited. Okay, well that's that's amazing. What what time is dinner? Seven thirty. Oh my God, it's only five forty-five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just give me out of this thing.